Okay. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Uh, as I have told you, okay, this is a business unusual group. It's a, it is a learning series, a webinar, online learning series on uh, strategic management as well as personal leadership. So on Sundays and Wednesdays, we have coaching sessions. And on Saturdays, we have open discussion like we are doing right now, where any participant from the group would come and contribute his or her idea, business idea, management practice idea or anything. And then we take up a challenge and we challenge in the group and we try to solve the challenge in the group. Right? So, start the time. We have an introduction, a brief introduction, one or two lines of introduction. So, as you can see the screens, I'll try to call out names and then they can give their introduction. And then we can hand over to this whole stage to Mr. Sanjay Sir. Okay, Mr. Sanjay Sir, you have a question. Yes, Mr. Sanjay Sir, I'm not sure. 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 I'm not yeah, that's fine. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Samir. Yes, my name is Samir Shah. I am from Ahmedabad. I, I, my company's name is Remic Group. We are into marketing of chemicals and dyes. And we, we are spread out in eight states of India. And so uh, we buy from industries and we sell to industries. It's totally B2B. Great. Thank you. Mr. Rahul. You have to unmute yourself. Rahul ji, you have to unmute karna hoga. Uh, myself, Rahul Salvi. I am uh, from Perfect Techno Solution. I am dealer for Protect Progressive Technologies Hyderabad as Mr. Sunil Reddy's company. So I am entire Gujarat. I am handling entire Gujarat for Protect. Great. Mr. Udyan. You have to unmute karna hoga. Yes, I have to unmute. Actually, we are, uh, I'm based in Nadia. Uh, the firm's name is Camplex Marketing, as well as we are in exports, uh, in the name of Aniket Exports. Generally, we do chemicals uh, and mainly related to paint industry and printing industry. So these are the raw materials for manufacturing paint as well as printing paint. Mainly we do that. Great. Mr. Sapan Shah, if you can switch on the video, Actually, I'm at a place. It won't be possible for me right now. Okay, no problem. Thank you for that. No problem. You give your introduction. Actually, I haven't attended any of your sessions before. So will it be okay for this forum? Yes, it's absolutely all right. This is an open discussion. There's no continuity. Every session has its own component. It's absolutely all right. You're most welcome. Okay, okay. Myself, Sapan Shah. I'm from Ahmedabad. Okay, you're most welcome. Okay, okay. Myself, Sapan Shah. I'm from Ahmedabad. And I am from ROA Enterprise. We are here for producing plastic machinery spare parts from a longer time. Great, great. Mr. Prakash Soni. Sir, I am Prakash Soni from Ahmedabad, Managing Director of Sign Captech Private Limited. We are in the solar business, solar EPC, solar park. We are impaneled with the, uh, most of the state uh, nodal agencies and central government. Great. Uh, Mr. Vaibhu Ujjain. Hi, everyone. Uh, I, my name is Vaibhu Ujjain and uh, I am a part of Virtus Energy Private Limited. We are a solar EPC company based out of Ahmedabad and we have uh, our operations across the length and the breadth of the com uh, country. Thank you. Great. Uh, Mr. Surinder Singh Ji, you have your introduction, DJ, please. Sir, I am Shuren Chavla from Bhopal. I have a chemical factory in the world of ferric chloride. And we export it. Great. Mr. Mehul Gohel, Unmute, unmute. नहीं आ रही है आवाज।
आपकी आवाज नहीं आ रही है मिस्टर मेहुल I think there is some problem with his mic. So, uh, Mr. Sunil, we can start. Yeah, uh, you can share your uh, this thing. Yes. I'll just share my screen here. Yeah. yeah. So we'll keep a mix of English and Hindi. Yeah. Sure. Sure. आपको उसको पहले फुल स्क्रीन करना होगा यू विल हैव टू फर्स्ट एंड देन शेयर दैट फुल स्क्रीन यू आर गेटिंग माय स्क्रीन नाउ यस 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 या 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 because your yeah. next slide and your notes are also visible okay okay so okay. i don't think you would be comfortable with that okay and i want to what i'll do is because probably i'm sharing this yeah, now... okay fine fine yes now now it's better okay yeah. okay yes okay So, uh, yeah. so you can introduce yourself and yeah, yeah yeah good evening uh, i'm sunil here i'm the managing director of protect so we are basically into embedded design and uh, we have uh, products you know uh, which serve right from the oil industry to industry so like uh, we are st- uh, this is a 30 year old company we started initially for the maintenance uh, tools for maintenance basically like bearing tester then uh, we have this thyristor tester and all then we later on move to the oil sector where uh, we have this automatic tire inflators oil dispensers so mostly in the automobile sector and then you know we are also serve the uh, we we got into this iot iot uh, wireless iot systems where we have a complete you know uh, utility management system when you say ut- uh, utilities like any um, uh, like you know you take any facility, any uh, building or any industries you have all these utilities like air conditioning lighting you know energy water then you have uh, chiller plants elevators generators and you know you have lot of utilities so traditionally w- what they do is all these utilities are very important for the you know this uh, the unit uh, the the organization to function yeah and uh, they are all a- operated independently like you know you want to you know switch on something you have you have to have people to go and do that and in the process what happens is lot of energy is wasted and the person who's managing all this it it becomes a real big task for him you know because uh, you get a complaint say some air condition is not cooling properly yeah so what you do is you just you know this guy goes there he just reduces the temperature without looking into it what exactly is happening so uh, what happens is in this process you know lot of energy is wasted and you know uh, and you are running the equipments unnecessarily like for example i'll give you a simple example like you know one example for a building and another example for the uh, industry like you you have your office so basically your office starts at 9:30 in the morning and ends at 6 in the morning so you see you now the air conditions are not switched on the lightings are not switched off yeah so uh, and uh, you see wherever you see go you can see that air conditioning temperature is set very low see 24 is a recommended temperature like uh it will be set at 19 degrees so that's you know it's a human thinking that you know if you put it at 19 degrees the room is going to cool faster no that is not the thing so what you are asking the system to do is get the room temperature to 19 degrees it doesn't cool faster because it has got only a one way of cooling so so then what unknowingly lot of you know all this energy is wasted so so here what we have done is all the control and monitoring we have bought it onto a single plant and you know we have, we have made it very affordable 
and it's a wireless solution you don't have to run cables unlike like you know when you say automation you know the first thing which comes into mind is you have to run cables everywhere so there's no cabling work as such and it's very easy to install and in the process you save 20% energy and a lot of manpower because this, now nowadays you know human resource also is becoming expensive and scarce so the same manpower can be used for other applications so instead of you know just going and switching on and switching off doing all this you know small small work they can the same people can be used for other works so here like you know so how this uh, this thing like you will take a simple like you know air conditioning temperatures are being set low like similarly lighting controls lightings are not switch off during uh, after business hours then similarly you have uh, you know the ahus when you talk about an ahu it's an air conditioning system so for any centralized building you have this system so where you know there are a lot of parameters like you know the supply temperature return temperature if the parameters are perfect only you know it'll consume less energy like you take an uh, air, a split air condition in your house or anywhere so what you find is uh, you find a filter inside it isn't it so uh, you know when uh, you have to clean that that filter regularly so you see you see the difference you know uh, if you the filter is not clean your air condition will be running but your room won't be cool so why because the kind of air circulation which is supposed to happen it doesn't happen there so the so the room will be generating heat but air condition supplier doesn't you know really uh, you know uh, it won't remove the heat properly so it becomes warmer the, the moment you clean the filter and put it back you can see the you know the efficiency of the air condition work so all this you know because uh, there are hundreds of units in an industry people don't really put their mind you know what is wrong there so it's a complaint if it's not cooling you you lower the temperature and unnecessarily a lot of energy is wasted and similarly you know you have this water you a lot of water is being used in the industries as well as in the buildings so uh, you don't know you know how much what are the levels in the water uh, in the tanks and how much water you are consuming so like if you are the you know after office hours if you find something like water is being consumed it is understood that there is a leak so then easily you can you know assess the, the quantify the leak and make a financial equivalent what how much does it cost you and similarly like you have dg like uh, then you have this chiller when you have when you say chiller plants most of the plastic industries most of the pharma industries they they have this all this chiller plants and air handling units and and the same thing you can use it for air compressors i'll i'll give you a brief this thing on air compressors and then we have the fire pump also so fire pump is a safety system in any uh, building or any factory so you have the system where you have a you know entire pipeline running through your factory and uh, uh, what you do is you maintain a pressure so th there's a place called a fire pump house so the fire pump house you have to run a regular drill of the fire pump house also always have to monitor because there's something called as a jockey pump the jockey pump what it does is it maintains the hydrant pressure in the pump in the pipeline so we monitor the uh, you know jockey pump and this if the jockey pump is running continuously and then yeah, you will uh, then it is understood that there's a leakage in the pipeline so because this is a important system when you really require it if it doesn't run then the whole idea of having this system doesn't make any sense there. so how is this system so it can be implemented in you know any type of it could be a small industry medium industry or big industry so and what we have is we have all this wireless modules for different kind of utilities for example you are talking about an air condition we have an air conditioning module talking about air compressor there is an air compressor module for monitoring energy there is an energy monitoring module and all these modules are wireless so and we create a wireless network in the entire premises and then which we call it as a gateway and gateway will have a gprs connection when you say gprs connection it is similar to your mobile phone so your mobile phone has access to the internet so similarly this will, this gateway also has access to the internet so what it does is it picks up all the data and through the internet it pushes to the cloud server so you as a user wherever you have an internet connection you can log into this and you can check your data so i'll come to that how do you do that and you can put different controls like you know for example i'll just typically talk to an your off an office space so you know you want to condition 9 9 o'clock so what you do is 
if your working hours is at 9.30, so instead of putting a set temperature at 9 o'clock at 24 degrees, what you can do is you can put it at a higher temperature, a pre-cooling happens because every degree, it saves you about 6% energy. So, and, and every drop over a period of time, it becomes a huge amount. So the reason of high energy bills is use of air condition after business are low temperature settings and clock filters, then inefficient air compressors, then inefficient chiller plants. So why is it very important? You know, the, the reason is to reduce cost, reduce risk, and reduce carbon emission. So as going further, so the you know the government has already planned for the top you know the uh, top industries which you know like uh, which consume a lot of energy. They have come. There's something called as a you know carbon credit. So they have now this year they have included even you know uh, medium-sized industries also into this. So you should you should show a reduction of five percent year to year based on your production, and it's going mandatory for the big industries already. So if you can't measure it, you can't control it. So so in order to measure, you should have a complete energy mapping of the industry. So what is the system? Basically, it's a web-based wireless sensors and controls. It measures utility wirelessly, at the low cost of ins installation and ex expandable as per the building requirement. So it basically collects the data and sends it to the web server, receives instruction from the web server, uses and anal analyzes the data and gives command to the utilities. So what all, you know, where all it can be applied, it can be applied in air conditioning, lighting, BG, water tanks and flows. You can switch on and off pump, pump controls, pumps remotely. You can monitor different uses of gases like LPG, PNG, then uh, fire pump house monitoring, chillers, cooling towers. So most of the industries you will find chillers, cooling towers, then, you know, even restrooms also we monitor to have a quality in the restroom also. Then monitoring of temperatures, you know, different location temperature, machine temperature, any, any temperature can be measured. Then energy monitoring, complete mapping of energy, each equipment, how much energy it's taking. So this is very, very important, you know, like you want to really correlate with your business. Then we have air quality sensors. This is also very important because uh, if, if you have a high percentage of carbon dioxide in the room, then what happens is, uh, you know, the person who's sitting in, the, in a room or in the premises, uh, his efficiency falls because the higher the concentration of uh, the carbon dioxide, you know, it'll reduce the efficient, it'll become, you know, it'll make you a little uh, dizzy for you and the efficiency of the person reduces that. So all the sensors can be linked to the fresh air input and, you know, automatically it'll handle the, all the operations. So the features are remote control and monitoring of the facility. It'll automate and control various operations, manage all systems, coordinate various systems. Automatically, everything happens, controls, monitors, and optim optimizes services. It's a reliable, cost-effective, and recording utilities and alarm, alarm for crossing limits. So we have for you know air condition, any type of air condition, we have a module for it. So now, basically, we are talking about compressors. So any industry will have a compressor. So it's one of, and it, compressed air is only 20% efficient when, when you really see that converting from electrical to air energy. So compressed air is one of the most expensive energy source used in our industrial plants. However, most compressed uh, air systems have large energy potential savings. What we have seen, we have put these systems in lot. And most segment of the industry continue to have little information and what their compressor and air systems are doing. So here we have a system where it monitors all the crucial information and tells you where the uh, problem is. Like you take a typical life cycle and the cost of a compressor. So like, you know, you know the uh, initial cost is, I'm talking about the capital cost of the compressor is only 5%. The maintenance cost is 5% and 90% is the energy cost. So, so what all we monitor and how is it useful? We monitor the CFM generated by the compressor, the energy consumed, and it is a screw compressor. If we monitor the load and unload, then pressure of the receiving tank. So why all this is important is energy is we 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 can what we can do is we can uh, you know uh, we can make a relation of what is the cost per CFM. 
So are we in that bracket or are we above? So that will really help us. Then if you are using a screw compressor, so screw compressor is a thing which runs continuously irrespective of the load. So with the, where we call it as a load and unload. So the unload time should be very less. Then pressure of the tank also is imp important because suppose your requirement for pressure is about say about five kgs. So it's better you maintain six kgs instead of eight kgs. So what happens is every kg of increase in pressure in tank is a load on the compressor and you, you waste almost 4% per kg. So all these things, you know, you get, and then the ambient temperature, the running hours, then we also monitor there's a air intake filter. So that is also important. And finally, we come out with something called as a KPI. So you, we can't, you keep watching the KPI on a continuous basis. So this basically helps you how your compressor is performing. And in the process, you save a lot of energy. And you can also perform leak tests because the compressed air is distributed throughout your plant. So when the uh, industry is in, when it's, you know, you have the off time. So you set a pressure in the tank and then it will tell you how much leak is happening. And it, you can calculate what is the cost of the leak. And based on that, you know, whatever decision you have to do, make, it, it helps you to take a decision because you know the cost of your losses and, and what investment you can, you know, uh, you know, you can stop this losses. So it will help you, you know, really help you to take decision on this. So this is how the system is. So we have a console here then we have different sensors and put every in different locations and all this data is being pumped to the web server. So you know, the return on investment for compressor. So minimum, you'll have a saving of 20 to 30 percent. And this, uh, every PSI increase in pressure, you know, 0.5 percent more energy is consumed. So that's what I was telling, you know, one kg will, you know, is almost about six to seven percent extra energy consumed by the compressor. Then leak detection also, when you really talk about leak detection, you know, a 30 uh, CFM leak will cost you, you know, that is a one mm hole one mm uh, hole where the air is leaking, you know, it will cost you 65,000 rupees per year. So unless and until you have all this information, you, okay, what you'll be thinking is you'll just switch on, you know, the, you see, you go to any industry, the whole uh, concentration is on how much pressure I'm getting. But at what cost, no one knows. And what is going wrong, also, a lot of people don't know. So if you have this system, then you'll have a clear clarity on, you know, what is happening and you can correct it. So, and not only this, this compressed air is being distributed to, you know, a lot of plants inside the plant itself, you know, different manufacturing. So you can have a complete audit, which machine is consuming how much. So probably this will really help you in, you know, calculating your cost of production. So similarly, you, we have a system for pump monitoring also. You, there are a lot of pumps in industries. So how efficiently it's pumping. So here we measure the power then the flow, the head pressure, then we also monitor the temperature of the motor, the bearing of the motor, so, and then we come out with the KPI. So you see that, you know, it, the, the KPI is always low when you really, uh, so if this is deteriorating, then there's some issue you have to attend it. So similarly, like, you know, air conditions, so uh, we have applied in a lot of air conditions and, and the minimum saving we have showed them is 25%. Minimum. A lot of air conditions we have applied this and it really helps. So wherever there's a power, uh, here I'm only focusing on the power guzzling things. One is the compressor, the other is the air condition and most important thing is water also. So now here the air condition, any type of air condition, we have a solution. So similarly, this is a chiller plant. So this is chiller plant. Basically, it's a where you know chill water is manufactured. This is used for you know, you know, big buildings or big size. Uh, most of the pharmaceutical industries have the chiller plant. So the efficiency of the chiller plant is very important, and they it really helps them to save a lot of energy. Similarly, cooling towers, water management. So we have you know we have for water level, then water flow, and on-off control of pumps. With, which is directly related to the levels. You can set it. If the level is falling, you switch on the motor, automatically it does it and 
So this you can have a complete SCADA system similar to a SCADA system for your entire building or plant. And similarly, like you know, people who are buying water externally, like you know, a tanker comes and delivers water. We have a tanker delivery monitoring system. So DG, so we monitor the entire, you know, the fuel level, how much fuel is filled, what is the fuel consumption, what is the battery voltage, how many units is generated. So here you'll know the cost per unit also, how efficiently. So the general thumb rule is, you know, it should not exceed 300 ml per unit. So fire pump system, I was earlier talking to you. So it's a very important system in any industry. Now, we, you know, what all fire accidents we had, it is the reason because they didn't have the, they, ha they already have the fire system there, but it is not properly maintained. So what they do is, you know, they have a log sheet. So in the log sheet, they just write it. They have to, they have to run a drill every 15 days. So to see whether the system is working or not, no one does that. So here we have a system, whether the drill is being performed or not. And similarly, you have the entire fire system in your building. So which tells you which sensor is working, how it's working at all. We pick up that information and we make a complete you know, report on saying that what is working and what is not working on a minute to minute basis. So if something is not working, it will give you an alert and then immediately you, know, you can take action on it. So you, it, now you are as a head of the organization, you are very pretty sure if the fire is going to happen, my system is ready there to extinguish. So it looks very, you know, a lot of people ignore it, but the kind of damage it does is very huge. You know, the kind of, you know, the property loss, the human life loss, it's very huge. So it's a simple, you know, cost effective solution. So you just put the system and you are very pretty sure your system is working. So how the system looks, we have, a, this is a gateway. So, and these are all the modules for different, different applications. So, you know, all these are, you have these antennas there. So they, you know, they wirelessly communicate. So the gateway is nothing but it, it creates an entire uh, wireless network in the, in the premises, like an industry or in a building, or it could be a retail outlet, so anything small or big, we have a solution. So these are different modules for different air conditioning modules. It could be a split air condition in your offices or a cassette AC. It could be a, a chill water supply in huge buildings. So for every uh, type of air condition, we have a solution. So similarly, like, you know, gas monitoring system, pump monitoring system, and this is, you know, it's a, it's a switching system where any equipment can be switched on and off. So I'll just, you know, take you to a live data series thing. Yeah. So this is a complete energy mapping. This is a live data which is coming from the site. Sir. So um, this I'm just showing you, you know, today's consumption is about 5,629 units. So different utility in that building, how much power they have taken. The air conditioning panel is taken about 1,400 units. And uh, the HVAC has taken about 70 units. You have different, you know, like basically a hotel. The guest. Uh, are you trying to share something? I mean, we are seeing the BPD. It's it's not dynamic. It's Screen static. Is, so that software uh, cloud screen is not coming to computers. Sir. Yeah, it's not coming. Okay, one not one. coming. Yeah. Yeah. One. Why don't you click on the slide number thirty-two? Yeah, one minute, I'm just going. Yeah. yeah. My screen is sharing. Uh, you can see the screen now? No. One minute. Oh, yeah. You have to stop sharing this screen first. Yeah, uh, no, yeah. Is it? Yeah. Probably you can see it now. Uh, yeah, I'm coming to that. No, no, not not seeing, sir. Huh. So, 
One second. Yeah, I'm just reopening this. Yeah. Yeah, probably now. Yes, now we can see. Yeah. yeah. Hey, this is how you log in, you know. Now I'm showing you this is in a different location totally. This is a five star hotel which I'm showing you. Yeah. 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 You can now you can see this building on the right side on the screen. Yes. Yeah. So we are we are looking into this building now. Okay. So we have all these uh, things there. So I'll just take you there. Yeah, <clears throat> this is the complete electrical readings what we are getting from them. You know, today the, this building has consumed some 5,629 units. Okay, out of that air condition, it's about 2,000 units. And then, you know, the guest rooms are 700 units. So you can see, right, sitting here, how much units have been consumed, you can see. Then you can go to the analytical and pull the data for the entire month also. Like I'll show you the air conditionings. So they have this air conditioning. So how many air conditions are working there? And similarly, I'll show you what is the gas consumed today. So they've consumed about you know, 36 kgs of gas today. Then they have a lot of cold rooms. What is the temperature being maintained in the cold room? And similarly, like, you know, I'll, I'll uh, we'll log out of this and I'll take you to a different thing also. This is an industry, it's a bio uh, science industry. So here, So we have an air conditioning unit which is running there. So right now the temperature is 23. So we, they have a three labs there. So you can know what is the temperature in the lab and what is the humidity in the lab. This is all live data. And if you want to see you know, the previous data, you can go here and what is the previous data. Also. So we'll see the room temperatures. You can see the room temperatures here for the whole day. And you want to see it from, you know, for the last, last one week. This shows the complete one week temperature. here. So you have the previous record. So based on this, we can do all the analytical and really help and save energy. See, here, see now, here, in this particular, there's already an issue, I'll tell you here. So what we do is, we go back here. See, 26 degrees is supposed to be maintained in the room. So this is going too low to 24 degrees. So this is a waste of energy here. You can see other rooms being maintained at 26 and 27. Is there any kind of beeper or alarm? Yeah, they get the alert. 
they get the alert. Yeah, yeah, they get the alert. So actually, they have an issue with the air conditioning system there. So they're rectifying it. Or else, what could have happened is it could have run like this only without anybody's knowledge. And here we are collecting the data every 10, 10 minutes. Actually, I'll just show you one. You know, we have done a huge uh, complex in Malaysia also. Just log out of this. So this is the whole, it's an 18 story, two tower complex. It's a mall come office space. So five stories are mall. The rest is uh, office building. So here only on the, we did only the air conditioning part and you know, the power savings is about 22%. So. They have so many air conditions here. So I'll uh, like for an engineer, he wants to really look into the air conditioning. So there's something called as a simulator here. So all you do is I just uh, select one of the running air condition. Now this is how the air condition looks. So, you know, it is taking the hot air, passing it through the coil. So now, you know, there's a filter here. So it'll show you what is the choke of the filter. You know, what is the return air temperature? What is the supply air temperature? And basically it's a water cooled system. At what temperature the water is going into the coil and what temperature it's coming out to the coil. So supply here it's eight degrees and the output is 2.2 degrees. Supply temperature is 10 and this is a very good, it's working perfectly because you have a Delta T of nine degrees, it's good. And like, you know, this filter also is clean. If the value goes up, then it is understood that there's a choke of the filter. So sitting, you know, this is, this is something which is happening in Malaysia by sit, sitting here and watching what exactly is happening. And you can schedule the timings, what time you want to switch it on, what time you want to switch it off. So all you have to do is click on this control setting, it will go there and you can change the timings. So right now in Malaysia, it is about, you know, 1633. And we, and we can do any sort of, uh, it, it, it could be a hotel industry, it could be any industry, we have a solution for it. Like pharmaceutical industry, we can monitor the clean rooms. Then we can monitor their entire HVAC, this thing. And you know, you, it's, if it's a spread out area, all the lighting control also can be bought to one single point. So what happens is, you know, the efficiency buildups and you save energies. And this particular building, which I showed you, you know, we are saying almost uh, 1 lakh rupees per day, sir. And uh, uh, what would be the cost uh, yeah, there, of this whole system it, yeah, to there, save 1 lakh rupees? Yeah, yeah there it costed uh, them about uh, 85 lakhs, sir. So their pay, you know, they're, uh, they're getting off it within uh, less than a year, sir. 
it is that is almost one year old so it is paid up paid up paid them up totally so even in mcdonalds we have every year we save them about 6.5 crores and uh, this is the fifth year which are running there sir for them and they must have invested about 7 crores totally on the whole system even barbecue nation is our customer starbucks is our customer coffee day also we did lot of stores okay we were supposed to do all the 1500 stores so unfortunately you know it happened and we, we couldn't get it <laughs> so this this is a very modular sir and you know very affordable any small industry or any big industry can use this so in any industry in whatever the kind of installation is you say ke within one year we will be able to yeah easily sir one year yeah easily they'll get back their investment mm. Uh, can i ask one question please yes sure uh, just one sec mr gora uh, uh, mr sunil are you done with your presentation yeah yeah i'm almost i'm done sir i'm done yes. so uh, okay. i can take questions now yeah. yes okay yes mr gora mr gora sir you have to unmute yeah. yeah i just wanted to know do you uh, take this kind of turnkey jobs on a renumeration or saving basis uh, or it yeah we uh, have something as an opex model also yes yeah so if if the volume is higher we definitely go on the opex model a volume is higher means what is no, your means criteria if it is about 5 6 lakh it become very difficult to go for an opex model 5 6 lakhs of order value order value yes sir okay. i think above 5 6 lakhs it will be because the paperwork and all so you 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 can say sir anything uh, billing about uh, 2 lakhs per month of electricity bill electricity a viable solution sir yes okay and sir and one more thing sir it's a modular system it's not that today itself you have to go for the entire thing so as per your budget you can do it so they can start with uh, one module in uh, like chilling chilled water plant and then they go on for yeah. the yeah. hvac like that yeah we so basically they feel that week, yeah you should target the air conditioning thing so yes you can save a lot of money. highest point of uh, return ah uh, yeah high consumption then we can go to the compressed air system true yeah then what happens is we automate the entire plant also basically like you know you don't require people to do this all this small small things you know true you find in most of the location one person writing the readings on you know morning to evening you go to each and every meter and do it. yes and you are not sure is he writing it correctly or not absolutely if to save yes, the time and energy he might write down something which is very similar data ah uh, on his so own here, sitting on the table yeah so here what you can do sir because it's an automatic recording system so you can rely on this data and then you know you can correlate to your uh, whatever your production or whatever usage and if it doesn't you know correlate that then it is understood that something is going wrong okay right so any more questions i think we have mr satish godse uh, he they manufacture chillers and uh, plastic auxiliary yeah okay yeah yes items. yeah so mr yeah, satish, that's so, sorry yeah. for late joining yes so any questions i mean he mentioned that this is very much useful in chillers also yeah chiller yeah you have a plastic industry sir yes we are in plastic industry and we manufacture package chiller from uh, 2 tr to 200 tr Okay, sir. They are both air cooled and water cooled. Yes, sir. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. So like, uh, you have your own chiller brand, sir, manufacturing brand. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. So Fine when you air. talk about yeah, when you talk about a chiller, sir, here, uh, we can one thing is we can automate the entire thing, or and as a monitoring purpose, if you already have existing chillers, like because you are a manufacturer, so you can also give a service to your customer saying that I'll give you what is the performance of the chiller. like we can okay. what is the energy consumption what is the supply temperature return air temperature and you know the the btu generated by the chiller and what is the cost of it okay yes sir. and if uh, you the all these are water cooled chillers or air cooled chillers sir, what you manufacture we do both water cooled and air yeah. cooled yeah. the more so of air cooled and uh, less is the water cooled yeah so when you are uh, talking about air, uh, air cooled uh, also sir on the air side which is on the outdoor side Yeah, yeah. You know, we can uh, have a you know temperature sensor 
who calculate the tonnage also there okay. and efficiently the radiate the the condenser coils are cooling there yeah okay in your chiller we can pull the approach temperature and all those details also and mm -hmm. you know uh, you can we can tell the customer you know like you know what happens is here because we are try, we are on this job also like you know one chiller in operation and two cooling towers you know the load falls off on the chiller total okay because of the cooling efficiency so all mm -hmm. recommendations can be given to them sir okay Maybe you know what's on the low side yeah on the low side we can completely you know the hu complete management we can take it up okay our customers are basically all this uh, plastic processor na yes sir you yeah, understand sir because plastic for cooling they use chill water i think i lost you somewhere hello hello no you are audible to us mr satish you are audible okay. we are hearing you clearly yeah go ahead sir yeah our customers are mostly all this molding machine uh, plastic yeah yeah, uh, yeah volume sell it with yeah yeah I think you can connect personally. Uh, okay, he is the he is he is yeah. part of our group. He is already yeah. there in this group, so you okay, can sir, okay. connect with him. And we have Mr. Webber and Mr. Prakash Soni also, who are into solar industry. So, yes. any question from you, Mr. Webber, Mr. Prakash? Okay. So, uh, thank you very much, Mr. Sunil. Yeah. it was a wonderful session and uh, last week also we had something on energy management this okay. week also Hello. we have uh, uh, this uh, <laughs> insightful energy management Hello? technique yeah mr Hello. prakash Hello. yeah mr prakash you are audible mr prakash Haan. you are audible nahi main ek mujhe 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 ek to sir ka number de dena thoda sa main kuch detail hamare kuch alag project hai unke liye kuch detail discussion karna hai kyunki jinka jo ऑटोमेशन है ऑटोमेशन हमको काम लगेगा उसमें ठीक है सर ठीक है सर तो मैं एक बार से थोड़ा सा आ, अलग से बात कर लूंगा जरा तो मैं आपको व्हाट्सएप कर दूंगा सुनील जी का नंबर ओके ग्रेट सो थैंक यू वेरी मच मिस्टर सुनील काफी इनसाइट्स रहे और ये सब चीजों के बारे में अवेयरनेस इंडिया में इंडस्ट्रियलिस्ट को हाई एनर्जी कंज्यूमर्स को भी होना बहुत जरूरी है यस इंटरनेट है बट तो भी कभी कभी रेलेवेंट इंफॉर्मेशन से हम महरूम रह जाते हैं तो ये एक मौका है ये एक प्लेटफॉर्म है जहाँ पे हम इस तरह के यूनिक जो प्रोडक्ट्स हैं उसके बारे में जान सके शेयर कर सके राइट सो थैंक यू वेरी मच एंड यू आर इन द ग्रुप will stay connected yeah, i would like to thank you also sir to you know give me a chance pleasure, to yeah. pleasure pleasure <laughs> so uh, now we move to our second part uh, mr samir mr satish and mr mehul mr mehul please switch on your video to jaisa ki humne tay kiya tha ki mr behul ne ek question uh, rakha tha ki communication kaisa hona chahiye hai na so can you start with you mr uh, can we start with you mr mehul what was your original idea then mr samir Uh, what was his idea and then mr satish on uh, what does he suggest and anybody can pitch in uh, uh, i think mr sunil does not have those questions but uh, i'll you'll get the knack of it once we start discussing uh, yeah i'll do yes sir so yeah. uh, uh, in case you have time huh? <laughs> I mean, no 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 absolutely <laughs> yeah, <come on. laughs> uh, so 